get him a senior at running back. You made a big splash last season after. You made a big splash last season after cracking the starting lineup the fifth game of the season. Tell us about last year. Um, last year for me, I was just playing pretty much a reserve running back role. Uh, Jeremiah Williams was a really good running back we had. He started over me, beat me out in camp. So uh, when he went injured, I knew I had an opportunity to show what I could do, and the coaches felt they were pretty confident in my ability, so they put me in, and I, so it would make a big impact. What does it mean to you to be named the Walter Payton Award watch list this year? Uh, it's a big honor, just the names that were in the in the candidacy when I looked online. has a lot of good guys in there. But, I mean, it doesn't really mean anything to after the season. Just right now, I guess it's just preseason, but I could be a bust. I couldn't, so we'll find out. What are the expectations for your team this year? I don't have a lot of big expectations, especially coming off last season. Uh, we have a lot of guys coming back a lot. In. So I think coach in like a Lorana area expect a lot of things out of us. What are you most looking forward to this season? Playing Purdue. I think that would be the every uh, FCS who wants to play a big school and beat them. So I think that would be a good challenge. Everyone wants to be at Appalachian State. So. What do you like most about your team this year? Um, I think we're more we play more as a unit this year. I think last year we were a little more individualistic, but I think this year summer we came together. Um, complacency, I think, because, I mean, we got big rings since we got OVC. I think JBL is wearing one. But uh, I think a lot of guys just trying to ride that and don't really want to do anything just because they think they've made it. So I think that would be the biggest challenge. Nice. Thank you. Um,